court has approved a request by the bankrupt crypto exchange FTX to explore the sale of its European arm, the company announced on Wednesday. FTX Europe AG, the holding company of FTX's European business, filed a petition for a Swiss moratorium proceeding, which the court granted on Tuesday, according to the announcement. A moratorium proceeding under Swiss law enables debt restructuring or the preservation of assets for a limited time. According to the company's announcement, the Swiss court also appointed an administrator for FTX Europe AG, which is also a debtor in FTX's bankrupt proceedings in the US. The moratorium will not stop the process to confirm customer balances in preparation for allowing the withdrawals of funds from Swiss headquarters, FTX European Union Limited, the notice clarified. ZA Bank, Hong Kong's virtual bank, will facilitate crypto to fiat exchange and allow crypto account services. It is expected that the bank will allow the withdrawals of token deposits in Hong Kong dollars Chinese yuan and United States dollars from licensed exchanges along with providing account services to other crypto dealing platforms. Sources revealed that Ronald Rue, CEO of ZA Bank, commented that the bank will not offer services to clients from mainland China due to the restrictions implied by the country. Furthermore, he added, now the currency conversion services will only be offered to Hashkey and OSL, which are the licensed crypto exchanges in Hong Kong. Employees of South Korean cryptocurrency exchange CoinWan have been arrested in connection with exchanging money in return for listing certain crypto assets. There is concern about escaping, said Seoul Southern District Court Chief Judge Kim Ji Suk, who issued a warrant for the arrest on Monday. CoinWan's listing team leader Kim Mo has been accused for violating the Concealment of Criminal Proceeds Act and a breach of trust. Listing broker Huang Mo was also charged with breach of trust. According to the report, Huang paid an as much as 2 billion won to Kim and CoinOne's former director of listing, Mr. John, in return for listing certain virtual assets. That's all in this bulletin for now. Keep watching Free Toto TV.